Well, hello again, Mission Control. I'm moving on to my next project now. I'm going to be looking at troubleshooting the automation on the trees. Uh, now, a few things that we've learned so far about these is, one, if you uh, design something and you're going to put it right in the middle of a walkway where people go a lot and there's hoses and stuff like that, don't have something protruding into the walkway. It will get caught. It will get ripped off. And that's exactly what happened with my tree sensor, uh, the water sensor for the trees, I should say. So a little bit of Elbato there, and we're gonna fix that today on the tree sensor here. We've also learned um, the watering numbers I got originally for the trees, basically water them once a week. Uh, we've learned with the citrus trees, especially, uh, it's really water them once every 14 days. So what we're finding is that we're having a lot of the little blossoms that have come on there, the clementines and the grapefruits, they're, they're dropping off, so we're losing them. Um, that's bad for the Martian challenge because I won't have any fruit to eat, but I, I consider it to be a good learning experience to learn those things. So uh, glad we figured that out. It's also prudent that we get this uh, sensor fixed because it's the one that tells me how much moisture is in these pots. And I haven't written the logic yet to where it reads the uh, moisture sensor and then decides if it should run or not run uh, based on that moisture. Uh, right now, everything's just set up on a, a, a Monday through Sunday timer uh, where it could run for however many minutes, however many times per day that I choose to set. Um, it was set to run once a week and uh, it was just running for too long. So we're gonna let these plants dry out. Hopefully uh, they recover, but we're gonna start fixing this thing today. Uh, I've got a get it all figured back out, ohm some stuff out, and uh, make sure my connection's all correct, and we'll be golden. Okay, so here's the working end of this bad boy, and then it plugs, we got it going under the floor, it plugs in here, and what was happening is that this stuck out the side like so. Um, and then when Mrs. Martian walked by, whacked it unintentionally, and uh, El Bado proceeded to happen. So, put it in here. My plan is to run it out the top through an existing hole. Again, these are all prototypes, so I'm not too worried about making perfect happen. And, ohm meter, this is my cheap one. Had this for a long time. And we're gonna find signal, which should be white. Signal is not white. Signal is gray. Signal is gray. Remember that, signal is gray. All right, ground. Ground is black. Okay, so now, ground is black, signal is gray. All right, signal goes there. All right, so then hot is white. It goes there, and then this one goes there, because that's how it's supposed to go. So now, if I test this, I put what just happened there. That is not what I wanted to happen. I really need like two more hands here. Okay. Ground. I really do need like two more hands. Okay, come on, buddy. Work with me here, work with me. Ground. Ground. And one more test, signal, test it. Okay, test complete. Let's put this right. Of course, there's barely enough. 
All right, so that ain't gonna work. My idea of using the top, <clears throat> not gonna work. Ooh, maybe that will work. Yeah, this might seem really boring, uh, but you know, I spent a lot of time building these things and then putting them in and finding stuff you never think of, like, hey, if you stick the cord out the side, uh, it's gonna get run over, stupid. Uh, duh. But you know, you don't think about everything. At least I don't. So that's why we build it. Build it up and then test it and rebuild it and test it and then keep going until you get it right. Okay. I like that. That to go back there like that. That would be even better, huh? All right, now we're going to secure this in place so it can't rip out. There we go. Everything appears to be in its place. So we'll lock that up. Put that in some water. Cable doesn't want to go exactly the way I want it to go, of course. Of course. Let's put it up here, see what happens. Okay, let's go check the server, see what it says. All right. Location equals trees. Show me what you got. 1233. It's not looking great. It says it had zero. Uh, let's plug in hype drive. I love it. Okay. Let's see what it says here. Oh, it's reading every minute. Oh, I don't want that. I gotta fix that anyway. I want to read every five minutes. Tree automation. Come to me, my tree automation here. Going all right. You're going to COM 13. And always fun troubleshooting stuff that was working and decided to stop working. Just why not? All right. Trees. Go. So these trees are really, really cool. Uh, I think the biggest danger to the trees right now is me, uh, specifically my lack of knowledge. But I, I think I tend to learn pretty quickly and adapt. So uh, we'll see how well I can adapt to all this. Um, Overwatering appears to be our number one problem across the board. Microgreens, aquaponics, everything. You think you need more water than you really do. Um, which is a good, I, I personally think that's a good thing, right? Because that means we get to use even less water than we anticipated. So um, we just got to get it all dialed in. So keeping really good notes, keeping records of everything is going to be really vital right now so that we can, um, you know, learn from our mistakes. I, I don't mind making mistakes as long as I learn from them, right? Because that's just part of life. Uh, it's when I don't learn from my mistakes that I feel stupid. But um, anyway... While this is loading, I just kind of wanted to say that, you know, the, the trees, they're pretty cool. And again, watering is a big problem. So getting this code right, there it goes, now it's uploading. Um, having the timer set up correctly, getting the sensor put in, it's going to be really quite important for us in the future. Um, no point in watering the trees if they don't need it. And that goes for everything in here. So getting this one all figured out uh, using the um, water sensor, it tells us the percent of moisture that's in the soil. So it's going to be important to have that. Almost done loading. And we'll see what it says. Here we go. Done loading. Rebooting. And yes, the sensor is back up online. Okay, but it is a little... It's a little out of... Uh, a, what is that? 
calibration. A little out of calibration here, so where is that at? Where are you at? Get moisture, there it is. So right now I have it tipped fully in water. What's going on there? Troubleshooting. Takes a lot of time. Go over the system log here. Oh, looks like it's working. It's just not calibrated right. Yeah, 132%. That seems a little wrong to me. So let's bust out calculator here. So it's reading 1024 at 100%. And it should be at zero, which is at zero percent. That sounds like a linear equation to me, doesn't it, folks? So we have 1024 divided by 100 is 10.24. For every one that it reads is 10.24. Okay? So if we come over here, copy that. So I'm updating the equation times. So the equation for a straight line is y equals mx plus b, where m is slope, x is the value, b is the zero intercept. So this has a zero intercept when it's read at zero. So it equals zero percent when it reads zero. So that means there is no b equals, or yeah, b equals zero. And then you have slope, which is rise over run times the value. So if I read, 1024 and it's supposed to equal 100%. Uh, boy, okay, doing this stuff on camera. Okay, y, y equals 100 when x equals 1024. So that's y divided by x equals 1024, no, equals 100 divided by 1024, 0.09. 7656 is the slope of the line. So we're going to take that, take it over to the software, and we're going to say you are now multiplying by that. And you don't have an intercept. And we're going to reload and see what happens. Fun, fun, fun. How off will this be? Right, because when it reads zero, it should just read zero. And then when it reads what it's reading right now, which is submerged in water, it should be 100%. And if it's reading 1024 at 100%, then that's 100% divided by 1024. Yeah, that's right. That's what it should be. There we go. Okay, I think we got it. So tree sensor is updated. Everything appears to be working right. We'll keep uh, keep an eye on that. Uh, ooh, actually, let's go let's go move it first. See what happens when I put it in dirt. I had it in water. So there, it's all the water, and then I put this little tube in here, so I can shove it down into the dirt quite a ways down. We want it to go two inches down. Uh, and I don't want to cover up the uh, the wires and everything with dirt because then dirt gets wet and then we short circuit everything out, right? That's El Bato. So uh, I put this tube in so it can go down two inches into the ground and I just penetrated into the soil. So we're going to go uh, read what it says and see what's happening. Okay, so we're back. So it's still, it's really, really moist in there. Uh, it's still reading 100%. So now I'm going to remove it to make sure it works. So now it's completely out of the soil. And it's 0%. Okay, so not only did we get the, temp the uh, moisture sensor fixed, but we confirmed that it's really too freaking wet in there. So we've got to let these things dry out. Oh my goodness, I hope they don't drown or anything. So. Um, 
I turned off the system completely, so they're not going to get any water for a few days. Well, they won't get any water until I turn the system back on. But, man, uh, I wish I would have had this a while ago. I need to set up an alarm in the watchdog uh, program that I need to make so that it sends me notice to my phone. Uh, if that uh, percent gets above 100, I mean, or not above 100, it should be like above 80 or something like that, um, that I get warned that there's a problem so I can keep track of it. That explains a lot about why the plants don't look as good as they should and why we're losing the fruit uh, from the clementine and the grapefruit trees. So, whew. Okay, glad I got it there. That's it for this video. Thanks for following along. Hope you enjoyed it. Troubleshooting is kind of boring, but if you did like it and you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, this is Real Martian.